Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm going to show you a quick tip with a subshape binder that will save you time. On the screen at the moment I have a body with a pad. I'm going to create a subshape binder upon this face. If I select that face, I can bind that face to another body. At the moment I haven't got a body. Let's click off and add one and then click the face once you see the pad has been selected and then click the subshape binder. The subshape binder has been added to the active body. And we can see that there. And this is in the shape of that pad. If I hide the body, you can see it's in the shape of the pad. So the new binder is placed inside the active body. Let's click that binder and hit delete. Come up to the original body and press the space bar. This time I'm going to bind the edges, but I'm going to make a mistake. I'm going to show you how to correct that mistake, allowing you to add and remove geometry from the binder itself. This can be useful for something I'm going to show you later in the video. Let's take one edge and control select the others. Now on purpose, I've missed out the holes. This is my mistake. So I've selected the edges of the pad. Let's create the binder. The binder is placed inside the body and you can see, because we have the make face on the binder, if I click the binder, we've got the make face is true. We've got, click the pad and press the space bar. We've just got this shape. Make sure the pad's selected to press the space bar again. But I want to add in the holes. So what do we do? Let's make sure nothing's selected. Select one hole, the edge of one hole, hold down control and select the other. Now you see the pad is selected on the left hand side. Release your finger from the control key. Take the pad, click on it and drag it into the binder. So now what's happened is the holes have been added to the binder. Click the pad and press the space bar to hide it. See we have the holes in there. Let's get rid of some of the geometry. So now I just want the holes. Make sure the pad is selected and press the space bar. Click off and select the holes. Control select both of them. Hold down control and select the other one. Release the control key. Come over to the left hand side. We're going to drag the pad. Before we drop it, hold down the control key again and drop this into the binder. What's happened now, if I select the pad, and press the space bar, we've now got the two holes. So why is this important? Well, it allows us to edit the binder because we can't edit the binder from the button on the end, but it opens this up to the master sketch workflow. Let's say our pad wasn't present. So let's click on the binder and hit delete and delete on the pad. So we've got the sketch here. Let's say this is our master sketch. This is the template that we're going to create different items from. Let's double click the sketch and extend it a bit. So I'm going to use the circle. Let's create another circle in here. So I want to create a slot and a washer. So this is my master sketch that I'm using. The master sketch normally sits outside. We've got the two bodies. Let's delete both of them. We'll say this is the master sketch and we'll create a new body, making sure nothing's selected. We'll create a new body. So the first body is going to be my washer. The washer is active. Let's take the outer circle and the inner one, which is shared by the slot and create a subshape binder. We can now take the binder and pad it. 10 millimeters. So we've got our first body. Let's hide the body, pressing the space bar. And now I'm going to create a new body, make sure nothing's selected. Otherwise we start pulling in parts as base features, create a new body. And this is going to be slot body. And we'll take 
the circle, both of them, and the edges, and use the subshape binder. Take the binder and create a pad. So now we've got a wash body and a slot body. All of a sudden we realize that we've made a mistake. And actually the sketch, there should be three holes in here. So let's add a hole. And hit close. Our binder hasn't updated. So the slot body, we need to update the binder within. Let's click on the binder and press the space bar. And that shows the binder and hide the pad so we can see what's happening. So this circle here, and we can see straight away because the sketch is at the top, this is our master sketch, we need to add to the binder. So selected the circle, come to the sketch, and drop it inside the binder. We've now edited the binder, and in turn, edited the pad. The sketch can change in dimensions, and the parts update within. So that's how to edit a subshape binder, adding and removing geometry, and also using that as a master sketch workflow. I hope you enjoyed that video, and I hope to see you in the next one. If you like what you see and you want to donate to the channel, then you can do so via Ko-Fi or Coffee at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G zero, or via PayPal, at paypal.com forward slash paypal me forward slash Darren B E Stone. I also run a Patreon where you can get early access and additional content. And that's at patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Links can be found in the channel header on the about page or in the descriptions of these videos. I thank everybody that's donated so far. It really helps to keep the lights on so I can produce more content and also expand the channel. Thank you for liking, commenting and subscribing to these videos. And I hope to see you again in the next one.